Okay, now we're going to go into what I truly believe in my professional opinion, what 99% of internet marketing is all about, whether it's internet marketing or social media marketing. This is literally what it's all about, what it's all about. It comes down to the engagement that one is doing online. So there's a reason why advertisers or companies, you're on their website, you leave, and then you go to a different random website, or maybe you go onto Facebook or LinkedIn, and then you see an ad from that company. Right, that goes on. It's retargeting. It's 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 simple av- social media advertising one hundred and one. It's the reason why. It's one of the reasons why Facebook dominated and continues to dominate. But they kind of, they kind of, they kind of are the King Kong of the Facebook pixel, a piece of code that everyone started putting on their websites that allowed Facebook to track the visit. So when it comes to a website, there's multiple pages to a website. I can click on contact us. I can click on about us. I can click on read about our products, services, directions to the office. Every little button you can click on on a website is its own page. And those pages are 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 are, are their own separate links. So if I can easily take a link, set it aside, and track who landed on it, or or if I can get a piece of code, put it on that specific page, and track who landed on it, I could take that data, turn around and show them another ad. And that's what it's all about. So that's all that's yep. going on on the internet is people are tracking our visit on a website and people yep. are tracking our views of a video. And and I'm talking about the, the percentage of a video, the seconds of a video. So for example, if I have a 30 second video on Facebook, I could track those who watch it for three seconds. I could track those who watch it for 10 seconds. I could track those who watch it for 15 seconds. I could track those who watch it for 75% of my 30 second video. Those who watched 75% of my 30 second video, I can track. Now, Facebook doesn't give you their name and number. They don't give you, hey, Stacy Stacy Dash was on yeah. this party. No, they don't give you that. That's private information, but they, they track the visit. They track the cookie. Um, and, 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 and everything's hashed. So we can't see any of that private information. Anyways, all we do is get the data. All we do is get the cookie of it, which Facebook allows us to put in what they call a custom audience. I like to refer to them as buckets. All yeah. you're doing is filling up buckets. This person landed on that page. This person landed on that page. This person landed on this page. And these are my three buckets, right? So all huh. I'm doing, and that's why I'm a huge advocate and I'm just, I, I can't stress it enough. From this day forward, all you're mm. really going to be doing is sharing one link. The solar solarukinstallers.co forward slash thank you page, forward slash ebook, forward slash, right? But every, every page evolves around the one link because now we want to take this one link and start tracking because it's going to give us the the, the ability and, and really the leverage to, to target those who are actually engaging. So when it comes down to it, there's, there's in this case there's three pages so go ahead and go ahead and go to let's go to let's start with the opt-in so where's the opt-in page let's go to the opt-in click on the three dots and get coder link get coder link we're going to copy this link and we're going to take it over to facebook okay so get the page link and so we want this one so copy it don't click the pencil just copy the link there copy the link let me, yeah let me i've got to move the that's it okay so 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 Got Everyone it. out there, copy that link, open it up in a new tab. Do the same thing for the thank you page. Do the same thing for your call confirm page. Okay, so three dots, get the code link, open it in, in a new tab. Right. So so when it what comes down that? to it, I truly believe 99.999% of small business owners, entrepreneurs, those of us that are on the internet trying to trying to do something, I truly believe everything can evolve around two basic pages. This this opt-in page and the thank you page, right? The opt-in page and the thank you page. Now, when you're going for appointments, many, many of us, you know, service-based businesses, we're in the we're in the client services businesses. Now, wait up, this link needs to be customized, right? Those of us hit the pencil, those of us that are in the client services business where we're going for appointments. That's when you can have a third page, which is your call confirm page, because now you want to be able to categorize and, and start filling up a bucket of Facebook custom audience of those who actually scheduled, right? Yeah. So change out this link. So hit the drop down to the left, change it to the right. This is the actual thank you page. Now, an average rookie would just put thank you, 
right? They name their page, their thank you page, thank you. But no, what we want, since because we're going for a call to action, because as they land, they're seeing our video and our number one objective is to get them to schedule an appointment. That's what I want them to see everywhere. I want them to see that in the link. So go ahead and put schedule your call now or schedule. What what do we have on the thing? Open what do we have on the actual thank you page? So as people land there, you have your video. And then what do we have as, as the headline? I forgot. What do we have? Um, Let's have a look. Yeah. Just yeah, to say. Get, no, get coder link. Ah. Yeah. Hit cancel. Just, um, yeah. Get coder link. Open up the, yeah, just this link ain't customized just yet, but that's fine. Just open it up. No, this is, your, this is your, yeah, this is your, your, your opt-in page. We're, we're talking about the thank you page. So go back. Sorry, Go back to Kartra. Yeah. As they land here, look at what you have in the tab. Schedule your free solar discovery call. Right? Do you see that in the tab? Um, in the tab, mate. At the very top, the tab. Yes, Schedule. yes, 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 yes. No, not there. To the right, the tab that you have open. This one, but, sorry. Yes. Schedule your free solar discovery call. Ah, right. Okay. So you want that to be – now, that's a little too long, in my opinion. Schedule your free solar discovery call. That, that, that That's fine, but but you see how there how it just drops to a second line because it's just too long. But that's yeah. fine. But the point is, is that as they land on the thank you page, the whole objective is to get them to schedule a call. So, yeah, in the tab, you want some type of call to action, and whatever is there, I want that also as the link. And I also want that as the headline. Thanks for signing up. We're going to edit that. And that's going to be schedule your free solar discovery call, right? They're going to see it in the tab. They're going to see it in the link. They're going to see it in the headline. They're going to hear it in your video. Scroll yeah. down, scroll down. They're going to see, they're going to see schedule your free. They're going to see it in the button. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? So, so as they land here again, rookies would just put, thank you. But it's like, yeah. no, like next step, next step, schedule your free call, schedule your free call, schedule your free call, right? So now let's go back to Cartridge Pages. So go back to Cartridge Pages. Okay, so change out this link. So hit the drop down. Now the forward slash, again, if you were to put all that, that's a little too long, but we can we can abbreviate it somehow. But change out the link to the left. Ah. Uh. Okay, see, so now all these pages that we're building, solarpanelinstallers.org, all of our pages now, mate, are around this one link. And so that's the importance of, of today's training is really getting these links in order, taking them over to Facebook so we can start building up our custom audiences. We can start tracking those. Now, Now, so we have, okay, so cancel. We have our opt-in page. We have our thank you page. Now get your call confirm page. Get your call confirm page. Get coder link. Let's see if you changed out this link. Get the page link. Okay, so that's it right there. Perfect. Copy that link. Open it up in a new tab. So these are the three pages that I truly believe are the most important. These are the this is the basics, and this is what everybody misses. People are running ads. They're claiming they're 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 successful, but it's like shit. The moment I lift up the hood, none of this shit set up, and it's like, dude, like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean you're crushing it? You're not even you're not even tracking any of it, right? So. Right. This is where I see majority of people drop the ball. Um, it's just the basic tracking. So, so here's what we want to do. We got the links up. Now let's go back to, let's go back to Kartra. Cancel this out. So uh -huh. we're good. We're good. We're good here. Okay. So now let's go over to let's open up a new tab and now let's go to Facebook. And we're actually going to just go to our folder, right? We're going to go to our folder. Everything close out. What? Yeah. Everything is around our folder. But um, not not from here. Open up a new a new tab. Yeah, from here. You can do it from here. Go to your folder and come down to audiences, custom audiences, your bookmarks, Facebook business folder up at the top. Your bookmarks, mate. You're on mute. No, no. Go back to go back to Facebook. Go back to Facebook. You're on mute. Yeah, I'm not now. Right. Okay. So go back to Facebook. Go to your bookmarks folder. So Facebook, click on Facebook, your folder. Okay. Now let's come down to custom audiences. So we want to come down to custom audiences. 
Okay, perfect. So now if it, if it wasn't for the bookmarks, then all you would do just click the three lines to the left and and find audiences. But but again, the bookmarks, these are the these are literally the only seven you'll ever really click on. Ever. 99.99% of the time when it comes to scaling Facebook and Instagram ads. Everything evolves 99.9% .9 of everything. This entire platform evolves around those seven. So the bookmarks save you a bunch of time on having to navigate. But but if you don't have the bookmarks, then yeah, you can always just click the three lines to the left and then try to find one of those seven from there. So again, if it wasn't for the bookmarks, you can always click on those three lines to the left. But again, the, the seven are the only things you'll ever need. As you click yeah. on the three lines, there's only seven in there that you'll ever need. So here, these are our custom audiences. Now what we want to do is we want to go to, let, let's start with the opt-in page. So click on the opt-in page. The tab that you have open at the top. I've got to get you out of the way. Oh, uh, this one, yeah? The, the, go to your opt-in page, the tab that you have open at the top. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm, I'm going to put this on full screen for you. Well, I'm on, I'm on full screen. Yeah, but I'm not. I have to keep switching out, Yeah. Um, so now on the opt-in page, all we want to do is copy the link at the top, but we don't need the HTTPS or the WWW. Just copy only the domain. Okay, only the domain. Perfect. Make sure you grab all of it, all the way to the right. Perfect. Okay, so copy that. That's all we need. Copy that. Yeah. And it's going to be our first custom audience of our of our pages, I should say. So go ahead and click on the blue button, create audience, it, custom audience. And we're going to get very detailed about this, mate, because, again, this is what 99% of the Internet marketing is all about. Social media, the Internet, it, it's all about tracking those who are visiting. That's it. It's, it's that basic. It really is. Because once you have a bucket of all these people, we can now show them ads based on what their interest is. So here we're going to – and 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 here's all the different sources, right? Let me Let me just teach you a little bit about this real quick. It's very, very simple. These are all the different sources that Facebook allows you to create a custom audience around. So So – but but really, 99% of the time are going to evolve around, around in your case with your business, around three sources, website, video, and lead form. That's okay. really it. That's really it. Now, here's, okay. here's where you can – here's where you can, which is what I'm going to be teaching you. This is where you can literally 100x the targeting – lead capture, the cost per lead. This is where you really, really 100 exit is when, you, is when you go to customer list. But you would need a customer, you would need a list. So for example, here's what I would do if I were you in your, in your, in your business, in your particular case with the relationship you have with the company you're working with. What yeah. I would do is I'd reach out to them and I'd say, hey, I need a list of all of your previous customers. I'm not going to call them. I'm not going to bother them. I'm not going to sell the data. I'm not going to share the data. What I'm going to do with that data and what I need is I need name and email. Here's exactly the pitch of, to the company. I need, yeah. I, need, I need a list of all your previous customers. Take it back to day one if you have that. And you'll be quite surprised that small business owners, a lot of them don't even have a huge list. If they do, it's maybe just in a CRM or maybe they just have it in a contact database. They don't really have it organized even on a, on a on an email list. If someone has it on an email list, that's what you're really looking for is send me a list of your previous customers, clients. What we do with that list, let's call it, and, and that list would have to be, this is next level stuff that I'm going to be teaching you, but I'm going to touch on it real quick right now because it's powerful and it's what it's all about. It's at, it, it, it's, it's at the end of the day, what I'm explaining to you here is what it's all about, customer list. I would take that list. That list would have to be at least, at least a minimum, a minimum, a minimum of, of a thousand records. You want at least one thousand records on a list. One thousand yep. name, name and email. So if I have one thousand, <laughs> I could take that list, upload it to Facebook under customer list, and create a custom audience of, let's just call it customers, right? That's just our, the name of our custom audience is customers and now that's a list of a thousand people we just uploaded to facebook under customer list we then take that custom audience 
we turn around, we give it to Facebook, and we say, hey, Facebook, here's 1,000 people that are my actual customers. Go and find me. So what Facebook does is they'll go and find you a million more people that resemble them from their buying patterns to their clicking patterns to their freaking engagement on social media patterns. Facebook has, again, today, if you're building a website, anyone that has a website, 99.99% of all of us that have a website have a pixel on it. So that's one way Facebook's getting so much data from everybody is because they freaking they're tracking every damn visit. Everyone yeah. that has a website today in 2023 is on social media. Majority of these people are, are on Facebook. So Facebook, uh, all they do is give you a piece of code. It sits on your website. It's like, yeah. shit, no wonder why Facebook has so much information on us. So they could take my list. It's what it's what we it's what Facebook calls a lookalike audience. They could take my custom audience of my one thousand customers, and then they turn it into a lookalike audience, and they'll go find me a million more people, again that resemble them. So now, now all we end up doing moving forward from that day on, now all all we have to do is target that lookalike audience. We right. don't even have to target anybody else anymore. We can literally yeah. just target the lookalike, and Facebook will just show these ads to people who look just like your customers, homeowners that may have not gone solar yet. That's next level. So when you hear about companies, and this is this is this is literally fact, when you hear about companies today, small, medium, large, when you hear about companies today that have scaled and have been successful with Facebook and Instagram ads, it's because they're they're targeting lookalike audiences. Okay. These companies that have thousands of customers, all they got to do is take that list, upload it to Facebook, turn it into a lookalike audience, and now target a million more people that resemble their client, that are that are that are their exact avatar, right? And now you just spend yeah. time targeting that that lookalike audience. So any big company that's scaled, that's how they did it. They they now now what I'm doing here with you is the beginner level. What I'm doing here with you is creating our own audience. That's when I already have a list. So if I already have a list of a thousand people, I could just, that's a cheat code. That is literally yeah. a cheat code. I yeah. could take a thousand people, customer list, turn it into a lookalike, and now only spend the next 90 days targeting them. While, the, while on the other hand, the beginner has to start by building their own audience. How does one get yeah. to a thousand customers in the first place? We got to start. We got to start. So therefore now we got to start with website. We got to start with create with 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 tracking video, right? And then and then the third one would be lead form. Um, I'm gonna have you test lead form. Lead form is when you're using Facebook's form and and not driving the traffic to a landing page. Now we have a landing page now, so we'll be focused on website. But lead form is something that we'll be testing as well. Um, one 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 week we may just run lead form to see if, if the lead form converts better. Another week we may be running ads. To, to the landing page to see if the landing page under website, see if the landing page is converting better, right? So those are yep. two different test points that you'll want to do is, is landing page lead form. So we'll get to customer list. We'll get to look alike later. I don't want to overwhelm you more than I probably already did right there. So no, no, no I've got it. I've got on, it. Yeah. All you're ever going to focus on is website, video, and, and lead form. And then later on down the line, customer list that's when we're gonna okay. really 100 exit so here website let's go website so hit next so here we're gonna go into we're, we're gonna actually grab a couple a few we're gonna actually use all these links in this one simple audience because this is how 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 specific we want to be first of all that source, David, David, David yes stop. can you just pause the video just for a sec Okay, so that's the pixel we're going to be using. Now, it's a red dot right now because it hasn't been activated. Once it's activated, that red dot turns green. And okay. activated is when it's on the actual page and Facebook reads it online for the first time, which happens in a split second, and we'll do that part next. That's the pixel install. But it's red because it's not; it hasn't been installed. So here's what we're going to do. The events on the next one. All website visitors hit that dropdown, and we're going to come down to specific. So people who visited specific web pages now again mate this is very very simple and this is what it's all about mate if you could start categorizing all of these different visitors this is a skill that i'm really giving you right here because whether it's this business or the next business you start tomorrow 
these are the basics. You got to implement these no matter what when it comes down to your advertising on, on social media. And I, and I would highly recommend focusing in on Facebook, focusing on Instagram. That's where the majority of homeowners homeowners are. That's why I work with a lot of real estate agents because the majority of their avatars are on these two platforms, right? The, the demographics. So when you can focus all in and just start building these audiences, that's what's going to give you leverage in the, in the future. So what we want to do here, retention, 30. Now, this is all... It, this is based on on in in your case if there was a promotion right like if there was a promo actually I don't even want to overwhelm you with with the details let's just leave it at no take the take the thirty take the thirty to one eighty one eighty is the max days so turn that thirty to one eighty so Facebook will keep anyone who lands on this page which we'll paste in the link here in a second Facebook will keep those people in this audience for a hundred and eighty days okay. okay so 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 just. That, and that's the max. It's 180 on websites. It's 360 a full year on video. So if I put out a video, mate, and you watch 15 seconds of my one minute video, you're going to be in my audience for a whole year. Yep. And I could just show you video, show you another ad, show you another ad, show you another ad, show you another ad, right? And and, and that's when you're able to speak to these people, right? You That's why when a lot of people, when people, a lot of times when people put out ads, it's like they're talking to everybody. It's like, no, yeah. dude, like narrow it in. Be specific. Who the hell are you talking to? Are you talking to a person who actually opted in and downloaded your shit already? Are you talking to someone who actually scheduled an appointment? Are you talking to someone who just hit the landing page, left, and never opted in? Who are you talking to? Yeah. So that's why this right here, it gives us the ability. When you when you start to build your buckets, fill your buckets, and you start to categorize all these visitors, it allows you to start making relevant content. Conversations. Yeah. Re re relevant video conversations with the right people. Right. Yeah. So 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 this is really, really amazing. The link down below. So at least one of these values right below. Paste in your opt in. Yep. Right below. Paste right there. Paste yeah. in your opt in. Yep. Paste it in. This is your opt in page. Right. So get the link. This is your opt in page. This is goal, going solar PDF. So copy that. Paste it over there. Just that. Not not the HT. Just as it is there. Yeah. Paste it over there. Yep. Paste it over there. And, and now. We got a lot of links to do, mate. So just go back to the ads manager and then just paste it in, paste it in. Okay, so this is an audience of those who have hit that page and hit that page only. Yeah. Right? We got to be super specific because here's the, here's the deal. Think about, look, look, think, think about this. Let's say you and I, we both hit that page, right? You clicked on an ad, you went to the page, I clicked on the ad. I went to the page, but you actually opted in. Yeah. Now, did we both go to the opt-in page? Yeah, but Ronnie opted in. Now, most yeah. rookies, again, beginners would only put that audience. They'll create this custom audience. This is going to be website opt-in page visitors, and they would <laughs> only most rookies will only put that audience. Which, if that's the case. And they keep showing me ads, they're going to keep showing ads to Ronnie too, because yeah. Ronnie went to that page, right? So they're going to keep we're going to keep seeing the same ads again, when Ronnie should be seeing different ads. He actually opted in. Now, did he go to that page? Yes. Did I go to that page? Yes. But Ronnie actually opted in. So to do this, that, this happens to me a lot. I opt into things and I get shown it again, and I get pissed off. Right. And you're like, holy shit, bro. What are you doing? Like, I already bought your shit. You're, you're, or, or yeah. you're like, hey, dude, I already downloaded your download. Why am I seeing your ebook download again? Yeah. Your ad. Yeah. That's why, mate, because they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't narrow it down. Here's yeah, how you do sure. it. Here's how you do it. Now, again, this is a very specific audience to those who only hit the opt in page. They never opted in. Okay. Right. And to do that, scroll down, scroll down. So, 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 so the, the, the opt-in is the top link. Now, what we want to do is we want to click on exclude people and we want to exclude, exclude people. We want to exclude the Ronnies. We want to exclude those who actually opted in. And so to do that, keep it on that pixel, scroll down events, scroll down events. All we're going to do is copy the top. So events hit that events drop down. Go to specific. All we're doing is copying what we did, did at the top. People who visit specific change the 30 to 180. Okay. So now what we want to do, 180, is now we want to grab the link for 
the thank you page, and we want to also grab the link for the call confirm page. Okay, so grab everything except for the left, right? You don't need, no, you don't, yeah, perfect. So just that, grab both. This is the thank you page. So we're excluding, this is going to be a clean audience of those who only had the opt-in. They never went anywhere else. So when I put out my next video ad, I'm going to be able to talk to these people specifically, and they're going to know what the hell I'm saying because yeah. they're going to they're going to remember me, right? So yeah, so we're going to exclude the thank you page and now get the call confirm page. We're going to also exclude the call confirmed, right? So grab this link. Now we'll we got to edit these pages and and get these up up to par, but hey, that that part's easy. You got the hang of it. You you did a, a phenomenal job on that opt-in page already. So just as you continue to get better and as you continue to spend more time, it's like shit, man. You're gonna you're gonna really 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 crush it. So paste in that I'm link. This nope, now? nope nope. Just paste it in, paste it in. Yeah. Yep. Paste it in. Okay. So now this is, we're gonna give it a name. Audience name at the bottom. Let's try to shoot through this. This this because this is all we're gonna do is, is these three pages. Audience name. This is gonna be Solar PDF. Solar PDF. Um. Or what's the name of it? What was the name of the campaign? We're always naming the campaign the same. Harness in the. Harness in the sun. <laughs> Is that is that the name of the campaign? Uh, go is well. It's the PDF. It's the opt-in. Yeah, you did put harnessing solar PDF. Perfect, perfect. Harnessing solar PDF. Perfect. Harnessing solar PDF. Go ahead and go back. Harnessing solar PDF. Harnessing the sun. Oh no, the name of the same mate. You, what, what you just named the pages? Harnessing the solar PDF. That's all. All it is. Harnessing it's the harnessing solar... the sun. The PDF. Okay, whatever, mate, whatever you want to name it. But I just want it to be consistent. So whatever you put here, you're telling me it says it in Kartra. So go ahead and put it there. Harnessing the solar PDF. Go back to Kartra. You have it named. You have Harnessing the Sun. Over here, you have Harnessing. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mate. Yes. I'm sorry. Harnessing solar PDF. No, it's okay. You can name it whatever you want. All I'm no, saying no, is No, 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 no. No, I'm with you. Is that you want to name everything the same. That's all I'm saying. So Harnessing, so harnessing solar. whatever. It could be anything. But just name it all the same because it just helps you remember everything. It helps you know campaign by campaign, right? This is this is specifically the PDF, right? So we want to be specific about that. So over here, Harnessing when we look at this, solar. yeah, harnessing solar PDF opt in, and, and 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 let's do this. Let's do this in parentheses. In parentheses, opt in, opt in visitors only. Uh, actually, yeah, it's actually no. Harnessing solar PDF opt-in and then in parentheses, visitors only. Yeah, leave opt-in. Yeah, and then in parentheses, visitors only. Harnessing solar PDF opt-in, visitors only. They never landed on the thank you page. They never yeah. landed on the call confirm. Create audience. Perfect. That's it, mate. That's it. Now, here's the deal. Done. That audience will, 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 will most likely 99% of the time because it gets basic logic. I mean, when you just think about my advertise, X out this column to the right. When you just think about what I'm trying to do, whether I'm posting what about no, the, to the right, this um, column actions, hit the X to the right, close out this right hand side. Yeah, hit the X, the X, X it out, mate. To the right, the X. Okay. So whatever you're doing, whether it's organic and you're posting this on LinkedIn, it doesn't matter, mate. I'm teaching you a skill where it doesn't even matter. Whether I'm running organic, I'm going to be posting shit from this point on regardless of what this guy David is teaching me. God knows I'm going to keep posting Twitter, freaking everything, right? I'm going to post my damn PDF. So this applies for organic and this applies for ads. Yeah. 99% of your of your outgoing should be going to that PDF, to that opt-in, to that. That should eventually be your biggest audience. When Aside from your customer list and when we create lookalikes that's going to be your your ultimate bigger biggest because that's when we're going to target millions of people but from what what you're doing whether it's organic or whether it's an actual ad that opt-in visitors only will be your most important audience it'll be your most important audience it'll be your biggest audience because again whether i'm doing organic marketing or whether i'm running ads all attention is going to that page okay. whether you whether you just visit me on instagram or you visit me on x or you visit me on linkedin the dot com that I have in my bio, it's leading people to my PDF. You have goingsolarpdf.org. 
or whatever it was, right? You have an yeah. amazing domain now where that domain is going to sit in the bio of everything, even on Google. You have a Google profile. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the yeah. Google profile, it's going solarpdf.com or .org or whatever. That link is, we're, we're just driving all internet traffic. So if anybody wants to freaking look me up, okay, shit, look me up. Click on the damn link though. Make sure you're clicking yeah. on my damn link. Right. Yeah. So eventually that's going to be the biggest audience. So moving forward, as you put out a video, Hey guys, this is Ronnie. Just wanted to put it and, and I'd be doing it on my cell phone. Hey guys, this is Ronnie. Hey, I noticed you took a look at my video last week when I was giving away my free PDF, but for whatever reason, you didn't opt in and download it. Let me tell you why you're going to want to get over to my page. You're going to want to get back over there and make sure you download a copy. Now in this PDF, I'm teaching you this, this, and this, make sure you get your copy while it's still free. I'll see you there. Yeah. I could I could just now start putting on a shitload of videos targeting that audience, speaking to them, speaking to them, and and, and getting them to opt in. And, and then now the next audience, hit the blue button, create audience. Now the next audience, that's when you're you're tweaking your create audience here. Yes, oh, yes. Here. Click on the blue button. Click on the blue button. Create audience. Custom audience. After a couple of times of these, you'll be doing this in your sleep. We're gonna go website again, hit next. And now all we want is the um, all website visitors, same exact thing. Hit the drop down, all specific. Go ahead and go 180, and then paste in. This is going to be specific. This is going to this is going to be the the thank you page. So get the link for the thank you page. Schedule your discovery call. Perfect. So copy that, and and now Hold this. Is... Yeah, it's spelled right. It's okay. Right. Yeah. Go ahead and paste that in, and now here again. We're going to get specific. These are going to be people who have landed. So they opted in. They're a lead. Awesome. They've opted in. Where they're, well, they're not. They're a lead, but they're really, really not a lead just yet, right? As far as the pipeline, they got to schedule a call. That's when I truly believe it's a solid lead appointment, yeah. right? When that appointment is booked, I truly believe that's that's the lead. That's the lead conversion. Here, they're just, they're, we're, we're peaking the interest. We're building, we're starting the relationship. I'm telling right, you. I've got it. Right. Sorry. So, so just on this one, maybe I put this somewhere else. People that might not want to, right? So schedule a call. They might, they might think, I just want a quote. But then am I going to call? Then they would schedule the call if that was the case. Okay, all but, right. But 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 here, all we're talking about are people that simply raise their hand and 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 said, "Hey, I'd love to read about your information. I'd love to. I'd love to read that." Yeah. Right. That that's all we're doing online every day, mate. No matter where yeah. you're at in the freaking world, we're online entering our name and email into websites that we're interested in. Yeah. Right. It's so 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 people again, when you start targeting that group, that's why I'm saying run an ad. The hell with posting on all these damn platforms and thinking we're social media marketing. The hell with all that shit. I could target a specific interest group by tonight and start to talk to them by tomorrow morning. Right. Start yeah. to resonate. Right. And 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 so. All I'm saying here is that these are simply people who have landed on the thank you page. They have not scheduled a call yet. So now get the link for the for the call confirm for the call confirm page. So grab that link. This is um the right the one to the right. Is that actually they're both call confirm. Call this confirm. Is call confirm. Yes. This is call confirm. And so we got to change out the tab. Right. We got to change out the, the title of the tab. Ah, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. That's why whenever yeah. I clone a page or even when I just build a page from scratch, I'm telling you, mate, the first thing I do is go to settings in the top left and change out the page title. Right. So that's that's like so basic and the most important step. But yeah, make sure you update that title. Because it doesn't need to say schedule your free, right? This is so you who, remind me before we wrap the call yeah, up for and we'll sure, do it. For sure. For sure. So that doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. So delete that. That doesn't go there. We're going to. um. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to exclude. So click exclude people. And then and then scroll down website. Change that out. Same thing. 180. 180. Hit the drop down above all website visitors. Change that out specific. And then paste in that link. Now this audience name. Scroll down. Let's give it a name. Audience name. This is this is this is um, so, harnessing solar PDF leads, and then in parentheses leads. These are harnessing literally PDF. Yeah, leads. Harnessing solar harnessing solar PDF download. Sorry. 
Actually, you don't even got to put download PDF. You 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 know you know enough with the PDF. That, yeah. that harnessing solar PDF leads leads and and then um why don't you just why don't you take leads out of parentheses just harnessing solar PDF leads and then in parentheses in parentheses we're going to put have not scheduled call or haven't scheduled call ho however you want to word that have not scheduled call these are people who simply downloaded the PDF that's it they have not hit they have not landed on the call confirm page right so this is this is a very very important audience now moving forward have not scheduled yeah have not scheduled that'll do perfect have have not have not scheduled create audience now now i could be putting out videos talking to these folks yeah hey guys this is ronnie just wanted to send out a quick video I noticed you guys downloaded my free PDF a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying it. Hey, but I also noticed that you haven't scheduled a call. Let me tell you what we go over on these free consultation calls and why you're going to get so much education from it and just and 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 be glad you took the call. Yeah. Right? Now I can start putting out content talking to them. Yeah. Right? Right? So so now one more audience, create audience. Hit the blue button and come down to again custom audience. And now what we want to do is create our third one website create or next. Now this is going to be an audience. All website visitors always come down to specific, always hit that drop down specific 30, uh, 180, and then, and then just paste in the call confirmed link, which you should have it copied. See if you, yeah, you can always do it again. Okay. So yeah, grab that one. And this is, and this is appointments or scheduled calls or, um, whatever you want to name it. So there's that. No one to exclude. Don't need to exclude anybody. Audience name. Um, har harnessing Honestly. solar harnessing solar PDF appointments or scheduled calls or something like that. Right. Um, harnessing solar PDF booked calls. Yeah, booked calls. Perfect. Booked calls. Yeah. Yeah. See, so, so now me, what I'm, what I'm and, and we'll end it here. One, we'll this little section here. Um, but let me, let me tell you what we just did here. So create audience. So not only are we creating these, filling these buckets, right? Not only are we creating these audiences of, of, of people that we can target, right? We're going to target the opt-in page. Um, we're going to target the leads, people who landed on the thank you page. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to put out videos talking to the, those people. Right. So so now now we have direction hit done. Now we have direction on 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 the targeting and then X this out to the right. This column just X that out to the right. Perfect. So now now you have audiences to to target the the opt-in, the visitors only, the yeah. um the, the 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 leads have not scheduled. Those are two different variations of videos of content that I can easily put out. And here's what here's how I would do it. I would literally here's all I would do, mate. I'm telling you, it's this, it could be really this basic. I would be doing, I'd be doing, I'd be doing one video per week, not even, not even per day. I'd be doing one video per week. Yep. And this could be, this could be a one minute video. It could be a two minute video. It could be a 30 second video. Um, but it could be, it could be, it'd be one video per week speaking to the leads who have not scheduled a call. And then a second video speaking to the opt-in visitors only. Yep. Or, or not Got even it. just not even just the opt-in visitors only, but that that message would be going to them. But that would also be going to 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 just future cold markets, cold, cold audiences. So as we're just running an ad to get people to download it to begin with, we're yeah. going to also be targeting the visitors only. So that opt-in page. That's what I'm saying. That that opt-in page. Will have the most traffic because all attention is going to the opt in. You cannot come into my world unless you go through the opt in and opt in. Well, and opt yeah. in and opt yeah. in because yeah. I have a series of videos that I'm strategically putting out speaking to just you. Because yeah. we know, we know not everyone that hits the page is going to opt in. We know not everyone who actually opts in is going to schedule a call. So we have to continue to talk to these people. Right, yeah, we can't true. just put out one ad and a shitload of leads coming overnight. It doesn't work that way, especially no, no. in this case and the leverage that we actually have 
when when you when you look at it from the perspective of building a personal brand when you actually yeah. look at it from that's why ronnie you you need to be the face of it you are the face of it that pdf looks amazing right yeah. you are now a personal brand mate moving forward you're building a personal brand and it's going to be amazing but yeah. but but you're focused in on 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 two types of videos speaking to those two different different um different people and so yeah, if i, I just kept, if i just kept it simple one a week that could be that could be very very simple one a week right and 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 not everyone not all of them are going to be used for ads it could be one video that you did just to post on linkedin right you yeah. just you're just putting out a video speaking to your hey guys hey hey i wanted to send out a quick message for my linkedin audience thank you so much for all the great connections that i got going on over here as you guys know i'm fired up about solar and where the industry is headed and i'm super passionate about educating people on what it takes to to go solar and and really the pros and cons to see if it even makes sense right i put together a free pdf that goes over this 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 and this i'd love to give you guys a free copy right that could be a yeah. simple 30 second video mate that i do as i'm driving to the grocery store yeah sure Seriously, it's that basic. So, so it doesn't take you know having to get set up and let me take my time and make sure everything is perfect. Hell no, it doesn't. It takes the opposite actually. Social media is personal branding, the opposite, where you're just doing random videos on your cell phone, mate. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Um. So 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 yeah. So those are the three audiences, and then and then also yeah. So what I'm saying is that now. Not only do we have audiences to target and put out that 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 video, but we also have audiences to now exclude. As we continue to run ads and get people to the opt-in, that's all really every message is about, getting people to the opt-in, getting people to the opt-in. And then even when I'm targeting the opt-in visitors only, that message still resonates with them too because they have an opt-in in. Yeah, you might have clicked on my last ad, but you just, you, you're in my audience because you just didn't opt-in. So, so I don't have to make a separate video for them. It's really just two videos. One video talking to the, to my leads who opted in and one video talking to, to people who haven't opted in. You might have right. hit my page, but you still haven't opted in. So that, mm -hmm. that messaging is really just one message, right? Talking to people to get them to opt in, right? And, and, and that'll, be, that'll be your ad where you're just really running. You're really, I'm trying to get you in the habit of, of, of really, really um, get, having you build the habit and having you build a discipline of one a week. But you're right. not even going to need all those for an ad. Because really, as you start to get started, it's really just it's really just two. You can you can run just two videos a month. So I could just put out one video every fifteen days, run it as an ad. I'm telling you to do two a week, only because I know I know you're capable, and I and I and I'm trying to get you to 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 from A to Z faster because I truly believe you're capable of it. Because you have yeah. a brand, you have a good look, you have a good a, a a good service, and and you need to get it out. So that's why I'm telling you one a week. But when it comes to the ad, it's literally one every 15 days, one video every 15 days. So, so two a month, two a month, okay. that's it. Okay. And yeah. and those two are really speaking to the, to, to get you, to get you to opt in, to get you to opt in. Those are really those two videos. But what I'm also saying is, yeah, you're going to do another video too. On top of that, you're going to do another video on top of that, where you're talking to, to, to those who actually opted in, but haven't scheduled a call. That's a very powerful video. Hey, guys, this is David. Hey, I noticed you downloaded my free PDF a few weeks ago, but for, but for whatever reason, you haven't scheduled a call. Let me tell you why you're going to want to schedule right now. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Okay. That's that's yeah, a yeah. that's a simple video, mate, that I can have fun with, right? And, yeah. and, and speak to that audience because, again, as we run ads – and as you just post organically, people are going to hit the opt-in. People are going to are going are going to opt in, but they're not all going to schedule a call right away. I understand. And, and, and so and so why that that's why that video targeting to the leads haven't have not scheduled. That's why that's so important. But also also on top of that, on the other hand, you have your email marketing in place. So yes, you hit my opt-in. You opted in. You landed on my lead thank you page. You haven't yeah. scheduled just yet. You're going to continue to see my ads because I'm targeting you and you're going to continue to receive my emails. Right. So, so, yeah. so that's the back end is the email marketing. Everything we're doing here is the front end, whether, whether you want to, whether you want to post organically or whether you want to run ads, it doesn't matter. I have these pages. This is the front end, right? The back end on war appointments. Yes. Some will come from the thank you page, but the majority of them will come from retargeting these audiences showing your face again, showing your face again, but, and also the, the actual email marketing, the emails that start to go out every three days, building that relationship even more.
getting yep. people to like you, getting people to trust you, and getting people to feel like they can do business with you. That's getting it, that's getting them indoctrinated. I got you indoctrinated from YouTube. Yeah, I got you indoctrinated. You started seeing a, a few videos of this of this guy, and you're like, hey, I can maybe relate to him. Let me reach out to him. Let's see if he can help me. That's literally what happened to you, mate. But yeah. but here that and that was organic. That was YouTube. You found me from YouTube organic. Here yeah. we're just speeding it up. Here we're just putting a few bucks behind it, a few a few uh, quids behind it, a few pounds, and 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 pushing it. That that that's 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 the content on steroids. That's why I'm fired up for you because you you can you could possibly get there even faster. You can find your next clients even faster than I than it took me to find you, you know, organically on YouTube. So 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 those are those are three audiences. Now, what we want to do really quick. So any any questions on that? Because we're we're done with we're done with. No, I've got it. I've got yeah. it. I've got it. Yeah. Brilliant. And, 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 Brilliant. and again, as you run ads to the opt-in page, as we just get organic traffic to the opt-in page, that's when you'll also because those are ad, those are ads that will always be on. Those are ads going to to people who haven't opted in yet. That should be your one every fifteen days. My two a month strategically are going out to people to get them to opt in. Yeah. That's where majority of the budget is going. But not but. And and so with that being said, if that's the case, so okay, and I better be excluding my leads and even the book calls. So that's where we'll start headed as well. So not only am I showing you audiences to set up to, to target, but the leads have not scheduled and the book calls those will be two audiences that you will eventually start excluding. So as you run ads to your opt-in, you're getting you're running ads to get people to download your shit. Okay, cool. Yeah. But you're also excluding those who already downloaded it. So that's the importance of audiences is the fact that I can target people, but I can also exclude them. And so in this case, yeah, that's what that's what I'm trying to explain here. We're going to start excluding the leads, right? They don't need to keep seeing your ads. They've already downloaded it. Start excluding yeah. them, right? And it's simple. It's all set up in the ad. It's all set up in the ad, which I'll walk you through when we get there. Okay, but this was super important. And then, and then, so you have, you have, you have hit the blue button one last time while we end this part. Go back to custom audiences. You have website. You have website. As we start to put out videos, that's when we'll start creating audiences around video. Yeah. Right. Super powerful. Hit next. Super super powerful. Here, I don't think you have any videos, but but let me just show you this engagement. I've got three. Okay, good. Click on the engagement. Let's do a quick a quick custom audience on a video then. Okay, so look, I can create an audience of those who watch it for three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 25%, 50%, right? Now, now you would think 95%. Let me create an audience of those who watched it for 95%. You would think that sounds cool, but it's actually not because that's going to be no. super, a super small audience, right? Not everyone's watching it for 95%, 75, 50, 20, even 25 yeah, Most sure. are not even right. So the higher you go in percentage, the smaller the audience is. That's all. Yep. So what I like to do is, is stay around shooting simple video content when, when it comes to this type on my cell phone, anywhere from a, a minute to two minutes. Right. And, 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 and with that, I'll track those who watch it for at least 15 seconds. Those that watch it for at least 15 seconds, it's a minute and a half long. You watched it for at least 15 seconds. 15 seconds in social media land is a lot of time. Okay. And so I'll just build an audience around around 15 seconds most most of the time. And if it's not 15 seconds, then I would go 25%. But but not even, not even. I, I I would just keep it at 15. So 15 seconds, choose videos, click on the blue, choose videos. Sorry, just a sec. Ah, oh, there. Yeah. And then here you'll see a list of your videos. So you have They're some media. companies. Click They're on the drop down, the Facebook page, click to the right, click on that drop down to the right. This? Solar panel. Yep. Click on that one. Now come down to your page. You have a ton of pages. So which one is it? Solar panel installers. Okay. Click on that one. Solar panel installers. Click on the page. Okay. So always make sure you're in the right page. Okay. So, so grab any of these. We're going to just, we're going to just, um, what, what about my opt-in video? No, no. That's, that's not a that's not that's not a video for the ad. That's a video for your opt-in page, right? Ah. So did you put it on Facebook? Uh, no, no. Okay, you don't need no. to. Yeah, it's not it's not a video for Facebook. Just grab one of these. Just grab any of these. We're gonna doing this just for tests, just for training. 
check the box to the left. So just X out. Check the box to the left. Sorry, just a sec. Yeah, just X Where? out. X out of this video. Here. Yeah, X, X out. And then check the box to the left of, of any of these videos. Okay, now scroll down and click on the blue button. So that's the video. Okay. That's the video. Click on the blue button. Okay, now audience name. I would name it whatever the video is. So what video was that, right? You want to start knowing what videos. And it doesn't, yeah, knowing what videos, but a lot of times I could just be wearing a blue shirt. Blue shirt in the car talking about, right? So I'll just start describing in a few words what video that was. Right. Sam's Sam's ad. Sam's ad. And then in yeah. parentheses, in parentheses, 15 seconds. Right? 15 seconds. So Sam's ad, and then in parentheses, 15 seconds. Great audience. And that's it, mate. Done. That's it. That's it. So as one puts out content, that's why it blows my mind when I see business owners and just fired up entrepreneurs whether they're an insurance agent a freaking dentist a local they have the local dry cleaners or or the local real estate owner real estate agent like it's like you're putting out all this video but you're not tracking any of it that's the majority yeah. of, of people but at the same time the majority of people just put it out organically so if you are a local business owner or if you are serving a community and, and you got all these random people following you from all over the country and in this case with you and i all around the world it's yeah. like shit, like your message isn't going to anybody, right? So so, so you don't need to track that. But I just truly believe if you're going to put out a video, track it. Track track it by creating the custom audience. But, but I also am saying if you're going to put out a video, run a damn ad on it. Run a damn ad on that video. Don't just post yeah. it just to freaking post it, right? Run an ad. And, 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 and you'll, you'll have people put, post a video on LinkedIn. They'll post it on Instagram. They'll post it on, 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 on Twitter. They'll post it on TikTok. They'll post it on Facebook or they'll post it on YouTube. Yeah. What I'm saying is, okay, that's fine. But that same video on one of these platforms needs to be an ad. Pick your platform. It could be a, a, a video, a, a video ad on YouTube. It could be a video ad in this case on Facebook. It could be a video ad on Instagram. Just run a damn ad on it. Because again, as okay. you target as you target that interest, you have all these over here, these audiences that you're that you're actually building. So that's why I tell people all the time it's not about just the lead. It's not, it's not. You can't just look at marketing dollars that way. Yes, the conversion, mm -hmm. the cost per conversion, yes, all that's super, super important for sure. But what I'm also saying is that on the back end, the fact that you're now collecting data, the fact yeah. that you're now creating these audiences. So Facebook, yes, they're giving you the lead. Yes, they're they're bringing people to a website, but they're also letting you track that. So now yeah. I can build, I can create these audiences for 180 days, and with video it's 365. So yeah, did, you, yeah. did you do that for the for the video? Did you change the the retention on the video? Sounds it was already it was already on 360. Okay, yeah, by default, yeah. Okay, cool. So 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 moving forward, mate, a video that goes on Facebook, create the audience. Whether whether you're gonna just post it on your page for the hell of it, like you did all those other ones, or yeah. you're gonna actually run an ad on it. Just come back here and create an audience. And you have it bookmarked. I can see there the blue star in the top right. So you have it bookmarked. So, so this will always be in your folder, Facebook you know, Business Manager. So website custom audiences and Facebook video custom audiences. Any questions on that? No. Awesome. No. Awesome.